Hello and welcome back to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair Channel. Today's episode, we're going to be fitting the, the pistons and the con rods to the crankshaft in our Fordson Super Dexter engine. I hope you enjoyed this episode and this episode is also sponsored by MRP UK Limited. Hello and welcome back to Kev's Vintage Tractor Repair Channel. Next job today is we're going to be fitting the pistons inside our block and connect them to the crankshaft. How do we do that? So what we're going to do is we've opened our pack of new shells, okay, for the um, connecting rods. I'm going to fit that to this, okay, get some of our assembly lube as well, again. We just lube everything up. So if we remember, when we took the engine apart, we made note of which way round the connecting rods went. So I'm now gonna do number three, all right? This side here where I am would be where the injection pump is, all right? So we know it goes that way. And what I like to do is, we'll, I've lubed, already lubed up inside the bores, but what I like to do is also is put the crank at the bottom of its stroke. If you Sometimes if you have it at the top, all right, you could catch the bolt on the, on the lobe as you go down. So what we'll do, we'll just lower that down nicely, nice and gently. There, okay. Next job we have to do, all right, I'll just lift that up very slightly. We've got them there and what we don't want is all the, um, the, the joints, the gap for all these pistons, our piston rings, all in a straight line. What we want to do is stagger them around, all right? I don't like putting them either side of the, the gudgeon pin. So the bottom one we can put there. Next one we could go just off opposite. Next one over and then over again, all right? So when we get our compression at the top, it's a long way for those gases to travel down, and hopefully they're going to be stopped anyway, all right? Because the whole thing has been rebored, bored out, and will be a lot tighter. We're at that stage there. So next job, our piston ring compressor. Put a little bit of oil on that, and then run that over. So this is one sort of piston ring compressor that I use. And we will clamp that in place. All right, so let's close that up nice and tight. And then what we're gonna do is just give that a tap just to get it started. And off that comes. I've had other ones where they're a bit deeper. All right, so what we'll do, we'll just let that go down a little bit further. All right, a little bit more. Okay, so now we've got the rest of the piston rings encompassed inside our ring. We'll get this on again, clamp it up, a bit of tissue or rag on top, and then there we go. What we'll now do, we'll now turn this over. So now we've got the engine the other way up, all right, and our crankshaft on number three is the bottom of its stroke. What we can do then is give this a bit of a, give the piston a pull. What we then want to do, get another bolt. Okay, so we see that, that's up, that's nice and snug, all right. The shell has held itself in place, so now we're gonna put the next cap on. Locate it, remember our, our numbers, all right, number three, number three, and then you can use a little bit of oil, okay, or you can use some of this thread lube. Get our ratchet, an 11, 11 16 socket, and then all we wanna do, all right, just for this start, is just gently nipple them up. Nice and even, don't do one side more than the other. Now what we'll do, we'll do number two, and get that to the lowest point of its stroke again. Right, so what we'll do, we'll turn the engine up the other way again. What we're gonna do this time, I'll use the other type. These are really inexpensive, okay? You'll find them on most of the places you can buy online. Open it up, like so. Sometimes when you do these ones, pays to put it in in the vice that's in there remember to stagger our um, gaps all right so we're all in different places like so these ones are okay these um, piston ring compressors i like either or just clamp it up 
Make sure it's all nice and square. That's on. Remember to get our shell for the next one. Bit of lube again. Remember the numbers to face us. And then give it a gentle tap. Sometimes once it gets started, you can just give it another little nip. If you happen to hit this any harder than this, then there's something not right. And there it is, that's in. There we go, that's that one up. Make sure we get the right cap again. Number two. One up. Same thing again. Make sure you get it the right way around. So remember to get our socket. Make sure our bolts are all the way up and home. Right, I think what I'm gonna do, put the crank bolt in. Let's make it a bit easier for us. Put that to there. That was part of the stroke again. I'm gonna do the same again with number one. Now the shell. Nice and tight. So that one in. There we go. We were saying about getting the numbers in the right place. But if you can see where the little notch is for this one, but then if you look above it, you'll see a little witness mark of where the bottom one was sitting, all right? So let's say little bits just to keep an eye out on, all right? So make sure you get them the right way around. Didn't put any lube on it. There we go, little bolt. And then just gently pull these down as well. They're all just sort of gently nipped up. Just got to see what we've got to torque these down to. 55 pounds foot. You can get different types of nuts. All right, are these silver ones, I think they're called cadmium. I think that's what it's how you pronounce it. And some other ones you can get are phosphate black. If they're the cadmium ones, the silver ones, all right, we torque these ones down to like 55 foot pounds. If it's the black ones, down to 70, all right? And like I said, that's what it is. That's what it says in the book. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna torque these down. After each one, I'm just gonna just give it a turnover on the engine. So what I'm gonna do, we said 55, I'm gonna do these ones at 30. All right, just to start, do a little bit at a time. Thirty. Turn our engine over. It's on number three. Same again. So turn number two. Take your time doing this. Get it right. All right. So we know they're all at thirty. Give it a revolution. Right. Get your fingers caught. Now we'll put them down to fifty-five. This is the way I do things. All right. It works for me. Like I said, you may do it in a slightly different way, but touch wood, I've never really had, a, I never had a problem. So let's bring that one. 55. 55. And we'll go again. Number two. go. Let's give it a go over. No tight spots. Before we turn the engine over again, what we'll do, we torque these down. We know they're right. They haven't got to come off again. I'll show you how to I'll bend these up into place. A pair of grips and just work around them. They're all down. And this is why I leave the counterweights off until the end. Because trying to get your hand down on number one and number three can be a bit tight. I will put those on, all right? So we will, put a little bit on there. Now these lock tabs are the only ones I can't seem to get hold of. So I'm probably just gonna have to go with these ones again. You can see on here where these hang over, all right? That's where it makes it awkward when you're trying to fit the pistons as well. So I would just leave them until the end. And I think what I'm going to do, because we've put other lock tabs on this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some new ones for this. 
we've gone to all this effort of rebuilding this engine so we might as well spend sort of 15 minutes just making some new little tabs so that's on so Tom you come back or we do the next set of videos I'd have made some new ones so the next one Now, I know there's, I'm not going to put people down for what they buy and things like that. Um, there's lots of aftermarket crankshafts out there. And like I said, <laughs> they're, all, they're all good in their own ways. You, you, you buy to whatever you can. Sage crankshafts I've always used. A friend of mine, he bought a crankshaft over the internet somehow. And the holes, which where these weights go on, weren't right so he put everything together and he couldn't turn his engine it's just one of these things that didn't get quality controlled and went through that's why just inspect all the bits that you're getting all right before you start fitting them all right but we got another crankshaft and we got over the problem okay so they just nipped up Let's turn it over again, everything's fine. They're all moving really well, nice and easy. And once all the oil starts getting around, they're gonna move a lot better. All right, that is fitting our pistons into the block, connect them to the uh, crankshaft, and that was it. All right, as easy as that, but take your time. All right, things are, don't go quite right. That's as far as we're gonna to go today. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. So I'm gonna get, get filming a few more all right so we can get a few more videos out there for you to enjoy so hope you enjoy see you next time